One Abilene family is rejoicing at the return of father and husband Daryl Fields. He spent the last four months under intensive care from the coronavirus. He still has a long road ahead, but today he came back home to begin his rehabilitation. Our Noah McKinney has tonight's top story. There may be no sweeter sight than a parent reunited with their children. But for the Fields family, this reunion was never promised. There were days when I did have just like, how am I going to get through this? Nearly four months ago, Daryl Fields was one of four in his family to test positive for COVID. Two weeks later, he was under intensive care in their hometown of San Marcos. As we got better and he worsened, it was just like, why? You know, like, why him? Like, why my dad? Daryl was put on a ventilator and into a medically induced coma. I remember anything for about nine or so days until I woke up. Basically, he went in in July and he woke up and it's October. He had COVID once before and had recovered. So I thought I had natural immunities, you know, built up in my system. But I got it again. And this time, it took me for a little. With five kids in different schools and the families moved back to Abilene, it was an especially difficult time. Even so, they made the four-hour drive when they could. It was hard seeing him like that. Like, I've never seen my dad that sick before. I thought he was going to die. I really thought that we were going to be losing our dad. All throughout, his wife Laura would talk to him, just hoping he would keep holding on. Tell him what the kids were doing. I would pray with him. And, you know, just I would, then I would always end it by saying, don't leave me here with all these crazy kids. We've got stuff to do. They did tell me on day 28 he's probably not going to make it. But 118 days later, Daryl is here, though 90 pounds lighter and with a stoma in his neck, giving him and his family a new outlook on this terrible virus. You don't really realize the seriousness of it until it is either a friend, a sibling, a parent. He now faces his final hurdle, rehab, and though he's already seen some success. Passed my swallow test and I got Dr. Pepper for the first time. I thought I was in heaven. It's the smiling faces of his family that has him sprinting forward. I can't wait. I can't wait. For BigCountryHomePage.com, <laughs> I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. Darrell says his main goal right now is to be able to stand and dance by January to attend a traditional father-daughter dance with his youngest, Lacey.